Okay, here's a video, the first of two videos actually, we're going to look at the step up. Um, usually an exercise that really can aggravate um, knees um, and, and actually a lot of people's lower back, this one can really create a lot of trouble and even hips to be, some, to be fair. Now we've got a step here that's actually quite a small step. A lot of people usually will do this off quite a high step and you can sort of see the box in the background there. Um, so normally people would have a step about that high which would bring Nathan's hip up to about here. Um, now if he has no trouble, no history of knee pain, back pain, it might be quite fine to do that. But if you're someone that you would had trouble in the past, and this is the way we usually see people do a step up, which this, this um, step, to be honest, probably a little bit higher than a normal stair. And you can see here, that doesn't look too bad, um, but some people will have a bit of trouble with this. And if I take it back and you'll see why, and I'll explain to you why, um, so a lot of people have trouble with the step up from here if they've had a history of lower back. And the reason is that they, they will sort of fall into this position of the pelvis falling under. Um, this sort of is creating problems at the hip here and you're just not going to be able to generate any strength through the glutes. So what, what happens is all of the, the work goes into the lower back and the knee as such. So, and, so what we've done here is we've told Nathan to load up as if he's doing a deadlift as such. So now we're putting his pelvis more into an anterior tilt as opposed to it sucking under. We're trying to tilt it forward now as we would if we were doing a deadlift to try and give us that um, natural curve in his lower back and it's going to give him a mechanical advantage to use his glutes better. All right, so now he's going to come up into the, into the step up um, and, and, and you'll drive and you're sort of showing you here how, and that'd be poor form. So, so I asked him in there to show you like what would look like if it was poor form. All right, so he's just going through finding what poor form is and then saying, okay, that's no good. I want to keep my natural tilt of my pelvis and now his glute is really activated and he can come up and stand up. When he comes down, see how his trunk will come forward as opposed to trying to stay straight. Um, this is a great way for someone to really learn how to engage their glutes in the step up, step up action. And you can sort of see here how his, his shin is quite vertical, so it takes away any pressure through the knee. really helps him to engage through the glutes a lot more and the posterior muscles. The key to it, though, is keeping that little curve of the back there. All right, and you can sort of see here he has that back foot um, with the knee slightly bent when he comes back down. See that? So it's almost like a lunge. All right, so great exercise you can use to, um, you know, develop some strength and power into the step up. Again, this is a much better off a small step, a lot smaller than what people would would think. All right, and you'll be able to do this, and it's surprisingly hard, and you'll get a lot more out of it muscular-wise without any um, problem to the joints of the, the knee and the lower back. All right, so hope you enjoy that video. See you on, on the next one.